Hey there, have you ever heard of the movie Forever Amber from 1947? It's a classic Hollywood film that's packed with all sorts of interesting moments. There are funny scenes, shocking twists, and even some sad parts that'll tug at your heartstrings. So, if you're into movies with a bit of everything, this one's for you. Now, let me ask you a couple of questions which classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite? And do you have a cherished memory associated with it? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, keep watching this video because there's a lot more to discover about Forever Amber and its fascinating backstory. And remember, your stories matter to us. In the realm of classic cinema, there exists a timeless gem that continues to captivate audiences with its compelling narrative and memorable characters. Released in 1947, this movie has left an indelible mark on the film industry, influencing subsequent works in both film and literature. Its enduring appeal lies in its portrayal of characters who defy societal norms and pursue their ambitions against all odds. This cinematic masterpiece transports viewers to 17th century England, immersing them in a world filled with glamour and intrigue. Through the trials and triumphs of its characters, the movie explores universal themes such as love, ambition, and perseverance resonating with audiences of all ages. The movie's portrayal of strong, independent female characters continues to inspire viewers, particularly women, as they witness the resilience and determination of the protagonist in her quest for success. Despite being released decades ago, the themes explored in this film remain relevant today, offering audiences an escape into a different time and place. As subsequent generations continue to appreciate its timeless qualities, this classic movie maintains its significance in the realm of cinema, reminding us of the enduring power of storytelling. In 1947, a movie had huge success in the USA, becoming the top-earning film of the year. But it wasn't smooth sailing. A group called the Catholic Legion of Decency didn't like the movie's portrayal of bad behavior. They pushed for changes, and after a while, the movie studio agreed. They made some adjustments like adding a warning at the start and changing the ending. They also took out parts that suggested the main character had more than one romantic partner. Even with these changes, the movie didn't do as well as expected because some theaters didn't want to show it anymore. The president of the studio said sorry to the Legion, not for the movie itself, but for not listening earlier. This movie also marked the first appearance of Doretta Johnson in the film industry. These events affected how people saw the movie for a long time. During filming, there were conflicting reports regarding the duration of Peggy Cummins' involvement. While Look Magazine claimed it took 39 days, Philip Dunn remembered it as lasting 6 to 10 weeks, with Vincent Price suggesting a two-month time frame. The February 1989 edition of Films in Review deemed Price's estimate most credible due to the extensive production stills. Due to censorship issues with the Catholic Legion of Decency, the film underwent modifications to avoid condemnation, including changing the ending and adding a prologue and epilogue. It was one of the costliest productions of the 40s, with a budget exceeding $65 million. In the wake of script adjustments, Peggy Cummins' bid for the lead role in the project encountered an abrupt halt, leading to Linda Darnell's eventual casting as the titular character. Notably, this collaboration marked the inception of a fruitful partnership between director Otto Preminger and cinematographer Leon Shamroy. Following the initial hiatus in production, Norma Varden found herself in a revised role, albeit with expanded significance. Crafted with meticulous attention to detail, the film's narrative unfolds against the backdrop of a bygone era, weaving a captivating tale of ambition and intrigue. Close friends with Michael Goh, who later portrayed Alfred Pennyworth in several Batman films, Alan Napier played a notable role in the 1947 movie. Originally, Erich Wolfgang Korngold was tasked with composing the score, but had to withdraw due to illness. He was subsequently replaced by David Raxon. Over 200 individuals auditioned for the lead role of Amber, but it was Peggy Cummins, spotted by the producer in a West End play, who secured the coveted part. She was 23 years old at the time. To evoke the foggy British atmosphere on set, a special mixture was used, which unfortunately caused digestive issues for half the crew after inhalation and ingestion. Cornel Wilde initially hesitated to work with Otto Preminger due to the director's dictatorial approach, but Daryl F. Zanuck insisted on Wilde's involvement due to his bankability. Production was briefly halted after a month for script revisions, leading to Richard and Linda Darnell taking over the roles originally slated for Vincent Price and Peggy Cummins. The movie marked the final appearances of actresses Alma Kruger, Natalie Draper, and Susan Blanchard. As the curtains closed on their illustrious careers, audiences couldn't help 
but feel a tinge of nostalgia for the memorable performances they had delivered over the years. However, amidst the farewell to these stalwart actresses, a curious mystery emerged. Dolores Hart, despite being listed in the filmography, adamantly denied her appearance in the film. Alongside Richard Denut, she stood firm in asserting her absence, despite keen-eyed viewers claiming to have spotted her elusive figure in certain scenes. The plot thickened further when it was revealed that her father, Bert Hicks, made a visible cameo in the film, adding another layer of intrigue to the puzzle. These discrepancies have sparked heated debates and ongoing discussions among cinephiles and scholars alike, each offering their own theories and speculations about Hart's involvement in the production. Was it a case of mistaken identity? A deliberate attempt at anonymity? Or perhaps something more enigmatic? Only time may reveal the truth behind this cinematic enigma. Among the notable achievements of this cinematic work is its inclusion in the American Film Institute's 25 list of 250 movies nominated for F.I.'s 100 Years of Film Scores. Additionally, it marked the debut of actress Dolores Hart, whose performance left a lasting impression on audiences. Renee Hubert, the costume designer, demonstrated resourcefulness by repurposing his original costume designs for Peggy Cummins to suit Linda Darnell's character at a significant cost of $65,000. Dollar furthermore, an additional $25,000 was allocated for revamping the costumes, showcasing the dedication to ensuring visual authenticity in the film. This movie faced numerous production challenges, including changes in the lead actress and director. Its final budget exceeded $65 million, double the initial estimate, and far surpassed the cost of previous successful films of the era. Gene Tierney, initially considered for the lead role, declined due to issues with the script. Linda Darnell was eventually cast instead. Despite its difficulties, the film achieved record-breaking success upon release in the U.S., grossing over $700,000 in its opening week and nearly $800,000 in the second week across a limited number of theaters. It was a significant achievement considering the prevailing economic conditions of the time. In the realm of classic cinema and television, there's a tale of actors weaving through different roles, leaving their mark on the screen. One such story revolves around a movie that went through some casting changes, adding an extra layer of interest to its production. Initially, a well-known actor was set to play a character in a particular film. However, fate intervened, and another actor stepped into the role when the movie underwent a recasting. This change brought a fresh dynamic to the production. Interestingly, the film marked the final appearance of a seasoned actress in her long career. Known for her exceptional performances, she bid farewell to the silver screen with this memorable role, leaving behind a lasting impression on cinematic history. Moreover, a popular TV series from the 1960s saw two actors taking on the role of a famous villain. Their portrayals showcased their versatility and captured the audience's attention with their unique interpretations of the character. The world of entertainment is full of such intriguing stories and connections that deepen our appreciation of its rich tapestry. This particular movie stands as a prime example, blending the talents of esteemed actors and actresses to create an enduring cinematic experience. In the world of movie making, Otto Preminger took charge after John M. Stahl, leading the film adaptation. Daryl F. Zanuck and Fox bought Kathleen Winsor's bold book for $200,000 showing they were serious about making it into a movie. Linda Darnell worked alongside her ex-husband Peveril Marley, and surprisingly, it helped them mend their relationship. Looking back, Darnell believed filming saved their marriage. The journey of Forever Amber from book to screen not only entertained audiences, but also stirred up real-life drama, showing how art and life can intertwine. In 1947, during the making of a notable film, there was a surprising change in the cast. Originally, a well-known actor was set to play a leading role, but he was replaced after a pause in filming. This unexpected switch stirred up curiosity in Hollywood, with many wondering about the reasons behind it and how it would affect the movie's progress. Before this shakeup, another actor had built a solid reputation on screen, appearing in several films alongside a respected colleague. Their frequent collaborations hinted at a strong working relationship that likely influenced the atmosphere on set. The sudden change in actors added an element of uncertainty to the project, adding drama that mirrored the story of the film itself. These behind-the-scenes events often fascinated audiences almost as much as the story they were eagerly anticipating. The journey of this movie from start to finish was full of surprises, reflecting the unpredictable nature of the film industry at the time. Looking back, the casting change may have been a crucial moment in the movie's history, affecting its reception and long-term impact in unexpected ways. 
The effects of these decisions were felt throughout Hollywood, leaving a lasting impression on the film and everyone involved. It serves as a reminder of how creativity and practicality intersect in filmmaking, a process often overshadowed by the glitz and glamour of the silver screen. In an unexpected twist, a beloved film encountered significant censorship hurdles upon its release in 1947. Despite its popularity, the movie underwent extensive editing by censors, resulting in the removal of over 25 minutes of footage. This drastic measure deprived audiences of essential character development and depth, leaving them with a truncated version of the story. The movie explores the turbulent life of its protagonist, a young woman who overcomes adversity to become a prominent figure in Restoration Era England. However, beneath the surface of glamour lies a poignant tale of personal loss and heartbreak amidst historical turmoil. Despite facing challenges, the film remains a notable piece of cinematic history, offering viewers a window into a bygone era. Its enduring impact serves as a reminder of storytelling's resilience in the face of obstacles. Though criticized and censored, the movie's emotional resonance continues to captivate audiences today. Amidst the chaos of its production, the 1947 movie faced a significant setback when its director was unexpectedly removed from the project. Despite his efforts, conflicts arose between him and the studio executives leading to his dismissal. Based on a novel by Kathleen Windsor, the story unfolds in 17th century England following the journey of a young woman who rises from poverty to prominence, navigating love, betrayal, and ambition against historical events like the English Civil War and the Great Plague of London. Initially intended for one actress, the lead role eventually landed in the hands of another due to scheduling conflicts. Despite challenges during filming, the actress delivered a memorable performance. Despite its troubled production and mixed reviews, the movie found success at the box office, captivating audiences with its lavish costumes, sets, and compelling storyline. In conclusion, despite its tumultuous journey, the 1947 movie emerged as a classic that continues to captivate audiences today, showcasing resilience and determination in the face of adversity. In the 1947 movie Forever Amber, there's a tragic fact that may surprise viewers. Despite being a central character, Forever Amber was almost recast due to the actress's pregnancy. The production was on the verge of replacing her, but ultimately decided to work around it, hiding her condition with clever camera angles and costumes. This posed a significant challenge, altering the filming schedule and adding pressure on set. Nonetheless, the film managed to proceed with its original lead, though the behind-the-scenes tension remained palpable. It's a poignant reminder of the complexities of filmmaking and the unforeseen obstacles that can arise even with careful planning. In the 1947 film Forever Amber, an unfortunate incident occurred during production that had a lasting impact. One of the lead actresses suffered a severe injury while filming a pivotal scene. She tripped and fell down a flight of stairs, resulting in a broken leg. This incident caused delays in production and added unexpected challenges for the filmmakers. Forever Amber, despite its success, faced controversy and censorship due to its portrayal of certain themes and scenes. The film adaptation faced criticism for its deviation from the original novel and its bold depiction of romantic relationships and societal norms of the time. Despite the challenges faced during production and the controversies surrounding its release, Forever Amber remains a notable film in cinematic history. It stands as a reminder of the complexities and challenges inherent in adapting literature to the screen, as well as the controversies that can arise from pushing the boundaries of cinematic storytelling. In a tragic turn of events, during the filming of the 1947 movie, a fire broke out on set. Tragically, several of the film's valuable sets were destroyed, resulting in significant delays in production. This unfortunate incident added to the already challenging circumstances faced during the making of the film. Despite the setbacks, the movie persevered, showcasing the resilience and dedication of its cast and crew. Through their hard work and determination, they were able to overcome the obstacles and complete the production, bringing Forever Amber to the silver screen for audiences to enjoy. The challenges faced during the making of the film serve as a reminder of the unpredictability of the filmmaking process and the perseverance required to see a project through to completion. Despite the hardships endured, Forever Amber stands as a testament to the resilience of those involved in its creation.